With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In the following figure, a body of mass M is tied at one end of a light string and this string is wrapped around the solid cylinder of mass capital M. The radius is R. At the moment t equals to 0, the system starts moving and the friction is negligible. Here you have to calculate the angular velocity at time t. So if you see here, the block mass is given right, and it is tied with a string which is wrapped around a solid cylinder and uh, mass of the cylinder and the radius of the cylinder is also given. So if you see here, let's say at any instant, this mass will have acceleration A in this direction and the tension force on this mass will act in upward direction and the tension force on the cylinder will act in downward direction. And the radius is R1. And the Mg will act in this direction. And because of this torque, because of the tension, there will be an angular acceleration alpha in this direction. So, if you see here, this point, this point, if you see here, at this point, the acceleration will be A, right? And it, it will be having the same acceleration as that of any point on the cylinder, which is in contact, right? So I took two points. The point on the string is having acceleration A downward and the point on the disc is having alpha R in downward direction and they both should be equal. Right? So it, it is alpha R and this is A and since they are in contact so I will write alpha R is equal to A. There is no slipping right. We are assuming that there is no slipping so alpha R is equal to A. Now I can write down the force and torque equation on the two. So mg minus t is the net force on the block. So it is equals to ma. And the torque because of t is equals to this. And it is equals to i alpha. This is torque because of the tension force. And this is a cylinder, right? So we know that this, uh, in case of cylinder, the i is equals to m r square by 2. So you can put the value of i here and uh, if you see we are interested in calculating the angular speed. So let us calculate the alpha if you get the alpha we can get the omega also right. So if you see we got this i is equals to mr square by 2 you can put it here. I will write t into r is equals to mr square by 2 into alpha and uh, from here you will get the value of t it is this mr by 2 into alpha right now you can put the value in this equation i will write mg minus mr alpha by 2 and we know that this acceleration is also equals to alpha r right so now we can solve it for alpha right so i will write uh, m plus capital m by 2 into alpha r is equals to mg right so i will write the alpha is equals to Now, we can write down the omega is equals to at any instant. Initially, the system starts from rest. So, I will write it as equals to this. Initial omega was 0. Put the value of alpha. So, I will write mgt this. 
Now if you see here m g t upon m plus capital M by two into R is our answer. Now you can take the two common, and if you take the two common here, if you multiply uh, and uh, multiply and divide it by two, you will get this answer. If you see two small m g upon capital M plus two m by R, so D is the correct answer. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.